Should I pay Thai Sin Sod? In this video we look at Thai Sin Sod or as some people call it Thai Dowry. A lot of foreigners think attaching a monetary value to their girlfriend and future wife is distasteful. We will look at what Thai Sin Sod is, when and if you should pay it, and if you do pay it, how much you should pay. What is a Thai Sin Sod or Thai Dowry? Sin Sod or Thai Dowry is supposed to be given by the groom to the bride's family. It is a payment for the loss of their daughter and the income she brings to the family. The payment of Sin Sod confirms to the family that the groom is financially able to support and take care of their daughter. Do you have to pay Sin Sod or a dowry in Thailand? More popularly known as Sin Sod, this is paid as a sign of gratitude to your Thai bride's parents for the good upbringing of their daughter. Try not to think about it as buying your wife. It is natural for the family to want to know that you are able to look after and care for their daughter. Western parents would assess the future potential of their new prospective son-in-law as well. The second reason is the financial security of the entire family. Thai children take care of their parents till death and that responsibility falls on the daughter. You are joining a family, not just marrying their daughter and you will be doing your part to provide for the family. As a foreigner you should give Sin Sod as a gift to the family with no expectation of it being returned. However, often when a Thai girl marries a Thai man the Sin Sod is returned after the wedding ceremony. In Thailand, daughters inherit the parents' assets, meaning the house or business will go to her on their death. The problem for foreigners is not paying too much sin sod initially, because you can never own any of the family assets. Foreigners cannot own land in Thailand, even if they are married to a Thai. So you must realize that you are paying for something which gives you no financial benefit in the future. How much does a Thai bride cost? The amount of Sin Sod paid is directly related to the woman's background. This is based on many factors such as your Thai fiancé's education and job and other things such as whether she is a virgin or not. A middle class university educated Thai lady could justify Sin Sod of 100,000 to 300,000 baht. A million dollar bar might be paid for a highly educated girl from a wealthy, very well connected powerful family or someone famous in Thai society. The above amounts are for an attractive girl under 30 who is middle class, well educated and a virgin. If a bride is une uneducated, older and from a poor family, the Sin Sod price is a lot lower to reflect their status. If the lady is not a virgin, has kids and is, and is divorced, no sin sod should be paid. This is the Thai tradition and a Thai man would never pay sin sod for such a girl. If the family tells you something else, they are, tr tr they are not respecting you and treating you like a na naive foreigner. As a foreigner, you could be a target for some girls and their families. Some Westerners have been asked and have paid up to a million baht dowry for an uneducated woman with several kids. If you find yourself in this situation, my advice is to find a new girl and a family with a good heart. If your fiancé goes along with her family's demands, then you know her motives are probably suspect as well. I hope you, are now you now have a better understanding of Sin Sod and Thai culture. If I was going to marry a Thai woman who was previously married with kids, I would never pay the family the Sin Sod they wanted. However, if they did not expect a Sin Sod payment, I might still give some money to buy favour and goodwill with my future wife and her family. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. And be, sub and be sure to subscribe.